Air Force Texan 45 caliber. What do we got? 20, uh, 2700 PSI. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Big Bop Your Air Guns. Today I got the Air Force Texan 45 caliber shooting the 315 grain projectiles that I got on eBay. Uh, I, I guess they're homemade. And I got a 264 grain as well I'm going to be trying. I got three brand new cast iron skillets. I'm going to see if it'll shoot through them with a 2 two by 6 back there as its final stopping point. And before we get started, I also want to let you know that this gun with just the 3,000 PSI tank with the new TX2 valve, I clocked at this gun with the 315 grain bullet, 1,029 feet per second, which gives you about 740 foot pounds of energy. And I don't know what I did with the power wheel because obviously I didn't get that on this video, but you're going to be real impressed what you see the results with only seven to 800 foot or feet per second with that same bullet, 315 grain. Stay tuned and uh, we'll be doing some more videos. Caliber. What do we got? 20, uh, 2700 PSI. From all the videos I've seen, I don't think I'll have that problem. Three, two, one. All right, so that was 796. That was definitely not close as, as fast as it's been shooting. Holy shit! Oh my god! It went through... Huh, it went through all three of them. Look at that. One, two, and three. And... I don't know, I guess the... I don't know where the bullet is. Wow! That is impressive. So with only 700 foot pounds or 700 feet per second, now I've shot a 300 grain bullet, a uh, thousand feet, a thousand twenty nine with this gun. So let's do this. The next projectile is going to be a 315 grain. And this is gonna be my second shot at 2200 PSI. See if I still get another good kill shot. Can you see that? See if I can fix my laser. Bear with me here. Come on. Might have to change my battery. Yeah, I gotta change the battery. Dang it. Anyway, I'll just use the scope. So here we go. 300 gram. I don't know if you could see that or not. <laughs> that was 727 feet per second. And now give, keep in mind, that was only 2200 PSI. But it is punching holes through that thing. Oh my God, it just blew the back end the back end of that thing out <laughs> second shot 300 grain back end blown out wow still not making it through the two by six at the end though all right so i'm going to shoot the bottom low but i'm going to crank it up to uh 
3,000 PSI and then show you what it can really do. Hopefully you can still see all this. Okay. Also, with the, when you're shooting guns like this, you're going to have to make sure your power wheel is set up correctly for this particular ammo you want that dot right there on that last line there is what I've been told I haven't played around with it enough to know any otherwise it's been just so damn hot out here all right 315 grain let's just weigh this one just to see Man, it is nasty hot out here. What's I say? 312? Okay. 312 grain. All right. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go ahead and take the tether off. All right, I'm going to shoot the bottom part of it. Maybe this will go through my brick. Here we go. Let's see where I can put this so you can see everything. Eight twenty-eight. Eight twenty-eight. Look at the PSI. Now it wasn't three thousand. It was only at twenty twenty-seven. Well, let's go see what that one did. Since that one was faster than all of them. Wow. I guess if I got four of them, I bet it'd go through all four. Man, I, I never would believe that this, this gun would do this. This is just absolutely incredible. Unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, it did. Yeah, got through my six by nine. But it's pretty much making Swiss cheese of this thing now. So there you go. Three frying, three cast iron skillets. And you can see the thickness of that skillet there. And see the pieces into the wood. There's the bullet right there. Oh man, that is a hell of a gun.